Once upon a time, a beautiful baby boy was born. Where are they going? Baby boy. All right. He had the most loving parents anyone could ask for. Isn't he just the cutest baby? Oh, he is. Hey, cutie pie. Look at him. It's our little creation. something else or what his life was filled with the things that everyone should experience like playdates birthday parties trips to amusement parks and walks in the woods Then one day, this boy started to change. What's this? The words that came so easy now were hard to form. What's this? Where, what's this? The words that did come out were copied from videos and TV shows. The way in which the boy saw the world changed too. Sounds were louder and there were harsh lights everywhere. The world was scary and cold. This is where the boy knew that life was gonna be different than before. The mom and dad didn't know what was happening to their boy, and they were scared. It was a trying time for all of them. The boy would have temper tantrums because he was misunderstood. It was a dark time. In school, he was taught way below his intellect because no one knew how smart he was. But through all of this, the mom and dad loved him and showered him with affection. This went on for many years, until one day, a miracle occurred. Gregory, would you want to go to space? The miracle came in the form of a woman with long blonde hair and a belief in people with autism. With her pencil and stencil board, she was able to unlock years of silence, like she was waving a magic wand. Boy's mom cried tears of joy. Oh my God! And two. H E R. H E R. Okay. Oh my God! Oh my God! Gregory, are you kidding me? You're kidding me, Gregory. 
that moment on, things were different. The mom and dad talked to him like an adult. He could make decisions for himself. And through lots of hard work, he got better and better on his letter board. It was the best time in his life. Something changed within the boy, and he realized he wanted everyone to know how smart people with autism are. So with the help of his mother and father, he began to do just that. He began a blog. He wrote several books. He participated in book clubs and social groups. He's had on panels for various webinars and conferences. He joined a group of other non-speakers who were brainstorming ideas to get the letter board used in schools. He was interviewed for research studies and podcasts. He wrote poetry and short stories, and he showed people his letterboard sessions. Anything to show the intellect and capability of the autistic mind and their ability to decide their own future. It is a lofty goal, but a necessary one. That boy is me, Gregory Tino. Autism is not what I would have chosen for myself, but I'm able to communicate and have a productive life. Now I can tell you what kind of books I like to read, and that I want to go to the gym, or that I want to vote and hang out with my friends, or go to a prom and an art museum or go to a dance, or that I enjoy doing Facebook, and that I want to make chocolate cake, or that I like the flyers, or that I want to learn to ride a two-wheeler bike. There are many others still living in a silent world. Let's believe in them and help them break free.